Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to your daily message for Thursday, September 10th. I'm feeling better, doing well, and we're going to get right into these readings, okay? So, water signs are first. We're going to do water, earth, air, and then fire, okay? Got the little Island Time wellness cards. So, we are going to start with water first. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What is going on? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for tomorrow, Thursday, September 10th. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, we have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So Cancer, you may be feeling a little nostalgic, maybe on rewind a little bit. Scorpio, we have kisses. Nice. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. Well, that's a nice card for you, Scorpio. That's a nice change of pace. Pisces, we have abundance. Look at all those blessings raining down here. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Show that gratitude and more and more and more blessings will come to you. So what are we doing here? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for tomorrow. Thursday, September 10th. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What is going on? For the water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay. Oh. Scorpios, they making you nervous. And Pisces, so healing, patience, okay. Um, Pisces, I'm looking at you when I say patience here. Finding that perfect balance, right? Um, reconnecting or somebody wanting to reconnect with you from the past, that's a distinct possibility. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. That's a distinct possibility. So let us figure this out. Cancer, you are in a bit of a mood. Let's put it that way. I'm thinking about some pretty hard times, replaying events. But what what's going to happen here? Could be thinking about somebody pulling you into like a third party situation or something simply toxic, right? That broke your heart. So we got the devil here. Bad times, bad relationships, a broken heart. Um, and you, you're kind of replaying that, thinking about that. But outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. What this is doing, it's almost like a purge. Um, especially with this temperance card here. This is helping you to kind of release. I feel like you're in, you're in rewind, but you're also releasing um, and just kind of getting it out of your head. Like this is okay. So this and this and this and this happened. And I feel like you're going to come to a point where you, you know, you're kind of sick of thinking about it, kind of sick of replaying it. And I feel like this is just all a part of the healing process for you. Um, so finding your balance again in a very difficult situation after experiencing a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, and a lot of toxic energy. So we're getting out of that mindset. This is going to help propel you forward. All right. You're just basically purging. Scorpio, check this out. Okay, so we got some nerves going on, some quiet energy, a lot of healing energy. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, a Virgo, and we got a little bit of air here. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. I feel like 
a painful connection between you and this person, yes. But I feel like deep down in your soul, it's almost like you're always going to love this person. A little piece of you is always going to love this person. And they do have that unconditional love for you. I do feel like things went bad. Okay. And I do feel like they're going to want to reconnect. I feel like you're very quiet uh, right now, not really talking. And I feel like this person's a little stressed out. And I feel like you're a little bit stressed out about the situation as well. Scorpio. Um, so I just feel like um, they just need to give you some time here. Uh, time to get a little bit stronger. Time to get a little bit more balanced and to get out of your head, right? Because I do feel like they want to talk to you, but you're just simply still processing and finding your footing in, in regards to this specific situation. So, Scorpio, take your time with this. I feel like they'll be there. It's unconditional love that they have for you. They'll be there when you're ready. If you're ever ready to discuss whatever needs to be discussed with this person. All right. Pisces. This is all about manifestation. Okay. And we it's, it's going to take some time. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. And look at that. There's the magician. Right. I'm very protective of what is yours very guarded side eyeing everybody right um i feel like you're keeping everything kind of under wraps like don't come too close because i ain't telling you nothing um big plans here though you got plans and you are manifesting and you may be doing some uh, work right if you catch me um, pulling in from all the elements, making this happen, right? But patience is going to be required here. Patience is going to be required because I feel like whatever you are creating into your reality is pretty big and you're very protective of it, but you want it and you know that you can obtain it. And it's just, um, it's a very healing process for you. There's a lot of excitement, but patience is definitely going to be required here, Pisces. So, very good. All right. Let me get a drink. And then we will do Earth Signs. I'm still... Sipping on my coffee this morning. I'm just taking it slow. Just taking it nice and easy. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. For tomorrow, Thursday, September 10th. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What is going on? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, we have the X. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So, what's going on, Taurus? We'll pull some tarot and see. Virgo, the sword and the rose. Don't mess with Virgo. Clarity, truth, revelation solidarity force honor protection and power very much ace of swords in the tarot um iron fist in a velvet glove type situation right so we shall see where that is going are you having some sort of revelation epiphany are you protected of course you're protected capricorn we have coffee cup Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So we'll see where that's going, Capricorn, all right? Maybe having to get some things off your chest. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What's going on? All 
Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. For tomorrow, Thursday, September 10th. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Woo! Okay. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Let's see. Mm, breaking free. Oh my. Virgo. Oh, oh, oh no. Um, emotional confusion. Worry possibly that somebody has option here. Getting very clear about what you want and how things are going to go. Um, illusion. Emotional manipulation. I mean, it could go several different ways with this card. So let's let's kind of get into it and see how this plays out specifically for each of you. Seven of Cups, that's water energy. Taurus, you're getting very clear. Okay, I feel like whoever was around you um, easily could emotionally confuse you. You know, you were like letting the emotion of the situation get in the way. And you're ready to take this sword right here and get very clear. Cut through all this nonsense. Cut through the, all that emotional cloudiness, the illusion, the fantasy of everything. And you're, you're getting rid of all of that. You're seeing things very clearly. This is somebody that can't see things clearly because their emotions are, are clouding their rational thought. This is somebody that's thinking rationally and cutting through all this. It's going to help you break free of this situation. You're deciding to free yourself. Enough's enough with this. So I feel like you're giving somebody the axe. Break up separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment and ab abandonment. You're breaking free. You're not letting them emotionally manipulate you. You're not letting them blow smoke up your ass, basically. You see them for what they are and you want to be free of it. You're done, basically. Freedom. Taurus, right? You're on to bigger and better things. Um, you need some new energy. You're looking for new, new, new. Not old, old, old stuff. Okay, Virgo. You are, this is a lot of difficult energy here, okay? This is a lot of confusion, emotion, emotions all over the place. You're very hurt. There was some sort of um, battle here. Maybe something you're thinking about completely walking away from. Whatever you decide to do, and like I was saying before, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. You're protected, first of all. What, whatever you decide to do here, it feels like a big decision. I feel like it's, should I stay or should I go? I got really hurt here. Should I just give up on it? Say, take my swords and, and I'm out. Um, just kind of give up on the situation and walk away. It, it was very painful. This person's got you on defense. And they, you know, you just like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? With this seven of cups here that's where this comes in seven or the sword sword and the rose clarity revelation solidarity force honor protection and power you are protected no matter what choice you make you see the truth you're ga gaining the clarity that you need and i feel like you're going to walk away from this situation this could be um, in regards to love family friends work Whatever the situation, you're going to gain the clarity that you need, I feel, to just kind of let it go. A lot of emotion involved, but this, this situation hurts you, hurts you badly. So you are protected. Whatever you decide to do here, Virgo, you are protected. Okay, so just know that. Capricorn, mm, hot and heavy situation, very confusing. It's almost like a little bit of a whirlwind here. Um, is this person, I feel like it's a new energy. Is this person, I feel like you're hoping that they're going to be a soulmate, Capricorn, with that two of cups there. But you're coming through as a bit of uh, inconsistent, unsettled energy. 
chemistry though, passion though, very attracted to each other, but you it's got your head all in a mess. This person's like, okay, what are we doing here? Cap, you know, that's what you're asking this person. Is this for real? Or is this, are you a player? Are you for real? I, I don't know, right? I'm confused. You're confusing me. You're messing with my mind. You're messing with my heart. What are you doing? What are we doing? And I feel like that's where this comes in. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So I feel like you're going to go to one of your trusted advisors, all right? Whether that's a friend, your favorite psychic, your favorite tarot reader, your favorite family member, and we're going to get a lot off of our chest, and we're going to work through this. Is this person for real? Is this my soulmate? Or is this just another player, right? So we're going to figure this out um, and we're going to get clear, clarity is needed to figure this out. But I mean, it's hot and heavy. It could be a little bit uh, quick for you, but um, it's your mind's a mess. This person has, <laughs> what is that song? Spin, spin me right round, baby. They've spun you right round. That's what I'm getting. So you need to have a little conversation with some trusted people to gain some clarity. Okay. See where this thing's going. Need a little bit of advice. All right, let me get a drink of coffee and we will do air signs. God, I hope I'm keeping everything straight. Okay, let's do some air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What is going on? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, we have the golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. So are you dealing with a narcissist? Gemini, or at least somebody that's a bit selfish. Libra, we have seduction. Oh, God. Is it, I'm a Libra. I don't, I don't think anybody's trying to seduce me. That I'm aware of. Not in this reality, anyway. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. Seduction, Libra. Oh my. Aquarius. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self image. Relationship. Reflect our wounds and introspection. So maybe we're taking a hard look at ourselves, Aquarius. I don't know. Let us pull some tarot and see what in the world is going on with the air sign. Looks kind of wild, doesn't it? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for tomorrow, Thursday, September 10th. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What is going on? Nope. Gemini. Libra and Aquarius tomorrow, September 10th. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. Wow. Not a difficult energy here. Negotiating with oneself, trying to make a decision, pros and cons, right? Back and forth, back and forth. What to do, what to do. Very emotional decision. Um, riding the fence a little bit, maybe. 
Something needs to be dropped. Something needs to be let go of. Two of Pentacles, that is Earth Energy, Gemini. Still unsure about this particular situation. Why? Because narcissists are good at what they do. Okay. Um, this one in particular broke your heart, but you're still kind of mm, kind of wishy-washy about it. Like, uh, is it really as bad? Are they really as bad as what I thought? Yeah. How do you know? Because you're hurting. Um, Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship and love bombing. Narcissists are good at what they do. They're very good at what they do. You need to study up on that. Research it. What are the signs, right? Is this person a narcissist? Was this all my imagination? Did you get hurt here? Did they try to love bomb you, gaslight you? Were you the one putting in all the work? Were they always constantly talking about themselves? Were they sending you, oh God. I could tell you this story, Gemini. Oh my God. What? Uh, well, see, it's weird because you guys aren't here with me. Um, have you ever had somebody just send you pictures of themselves all day? All day. I, I experienced that all day long. And I worked with this person. Like, are you, what? Um, Gemini, you are very much focused as you should be on yourself. You'd be dealing with the nurse side, of course. But you, this is more you, I feel. Knowing your worth, knowing you're better than this, very focused on something real here coming through for you and very, and very focused on you right now. You need to be a little bit selfish right now and focused on you and just taking care of you, you and your career. And, um, and I feel like that's what you're doing. Trying to, trying really hard to kind of push this back into the past, but you are still hurting. You focused on you and self-care and self-love and self-worth and the correct offers coming towards you from the correct energies is going to help you heal from this, I feel. So you still wonder about it now. You still kind of ride the fence. Was this person as bad as what I thought? Yes. Yep. Yep. So time to just drop it and get hardcore focused on you, Gemini. Okay. Time will heal you. You won't forget, but you will move on. There's something better coming for you. Libra. <sighs> seduction right you could be dealing with a scorpio got a little fire here got a little earth here Ooh. that's ted <laughs> they're all asleep right now they're being such good puppies so scorpio god you could be dealing with a scorpio see they threw me off they could be dealing with a scorpio libra right and you got seduction here, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Um, something needs to change in this dynamic. Um, there is one of you, you or this other person, there's a lot of chemistry here between the two of you. Um, and I feel like it, it can grow into something like this person is very turned on by you. But what is holding the situation back is something has to be let go of first. There is an extra energy here that needs to be released before this dance can continue. And I do feel like it's a dance here. Um, so obstacles here, this, there's needs to be an ending that needs to be let go of. I honestly feel like the, the energy, like it says third party interference. I feel like it's an actual energy. I feel like the ending has already happened, Libra, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. And, um, it just needs to be healed from and released, whether that's on your end or their end. And then this beautiful dance can begin, right? I do feel, and this is just kind of coming in. This is for some of you. 
um, there is a situation uh, where, I mean, this person is extraordinarily tempted by you, God knows, very attracted to you. And, and for some of you, there is, um, there is, in, I want to say dream state, I want to say dream state, like things are happening, right? So if you're dreaming about a specific person, they're probably dreaming about you. And is it really a dream? Or are we meeting up somewhere else, right? But in this particular 3D reality, that it's, it's not necessarily a third party interference, it's an energy that needs to be released. Like this person's very tempted by you, Libra, but they still got their ex on their mind and they're still clearing obstacles and they still have to let it go and they're still riding the fence about it. Um, but they're extraordinarily tempted by you. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we'll see how that all goes. Aquarius. Seeing things very clearly. I feel like, honestly, you're taking a cold, hard look at yourself. Um, marrying each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So I feel like with this mirror, I feel like you're taking a cold, hard look at yourself. Ace of Swords. Is this not a hot card today? Aquarius, you are um, seeing things clearly. You are seeing where you need to get focused on. You are, and you're getting focused. And it's like a whole self-improvement situation that you're going through. You're tired of like, well, this and that, you know, what should I do? Da, da, da. You're, you're tired of riding the fence. You're trying to, you're trying to like negotiate with yourself. You're trying to, well, um, I want to say like, well, I did this because they did this and I did, it's like a back and forth, like a ping, I'm like a ping pong game, like boop, 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 boop. So we're coming in, we're doing a lot of introspection here and we're get, gaining that clarity and we're seeing our flaws very clearly and very honestly with ourselves, which is a very good thing. And we're going to get to work here, Aquarius, on improving ourselves and just making ourselves better emotionally, physically, mentally, maybe even financially so that at, when a new beginning does come along, we're going to be better prepared for it and we won't run into a bunch of bullshit, basically, um, because we've got it, you know, we've got it. We, we know what our flaws are. We know what we have to work on. And, you know, admitting certain things about yourself is very difficult, but it's, I mean, it's like the first step to improvement, right? Um, but I feel like that's what you're going through right now. And, um, yeah, it, it, that's a hard, that's a hard one, but it's good. It means you're on your way to healing. You're on your way to better relationships, that kind of thing, Aquarius. So that's very good. All right. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Aries. We have healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-care. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. So you're definitely improving mind, body, and spirit, Aries. It's very good. Leo, we have a date. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan and set the date. So what's up, Leo? You getting back out there? Looks like it. Sagittarius, we have seduction. <laughs> um, Libra just got this too. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. Are you tempted by somebody, Sagittarius? 
Or are they tempted by you? Are we tempted by each other? Right? Lord, have mercy. Let's see what's going on. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for tomorrow, Thursday, September 10th. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What is going on? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What is going on? Aries. Wow. All right. So this is, oh, these readings are crazy today. What's going on? Something's going on. Sagittarius, you guys have been through it. You really have, but I feel like it's improving. So, soul energy here. Someone from your past, maybe coming back. Um, somebody that you know. It doesn't have to be a horrible ex. Maybe it's somebody that you made a connection with and it really didn't get up off the ground. Reconnecting, right? Um... Let's see where this is going. Let's see where this is going. Could be a little different for all of you. Six of Cups, water energy. Aries, you're looking for something real. You're looking for a true soul connection. We are not accepting players at this time. Why? Because you're making better choices in love and in life. Why? Because you know your worth now and you're waiting for the right person to come to you. Could that be some a soul connection from your past? It could be. It's not a horrible ex. It's not a player type. It's not. Um, this is somebody that's going to respect you, that's going to respect your independence and how hard you've worked to get to where you are. And you're going to make absolutely sure that it's a deep connection. That This next person, whether it's somebody you know or whether you don't know, it's not a horrible ex. It's not a player type. This is somebody that you must have a deep soul connection with, whether it's somebody new that you feel like you shared lifetimes with, whether it's somebody from your past that uh, you felt the connection with, we couldn't get it up off the ground, but let's, you know, it's just a better choice. What e better choice, no players. Making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. You simply are standing on your own two feet beautifully and looking for a true soul connection. And that is coming here for you. If the past comes back, trying to play with your mind, um, you're not having it. You're stronger now, and that's a beautiful thing. Leo. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan and set a date. So you're very unsure about this. I do feel like you feel the connection with this person. Could be a past life connection, but right now in this reality, it's somebody, you know, newer, newish, newer. Um, but you're so unsure. You're so unsure right now. Are you ready? Is your heart ready? Got a lot of swords, conflicting mental ener energy in your mind in regards to this situation. Are they just going to be another, you know, taker? Um, only time will tell, right? Give Leo a little bit of time, a little bit more information to make that decision. So I just feel like you're going to get to know this person on a deeper level. And um, you're, I just don't feel like you're just going to pour your heart out to them and just put your heart out on the table. Like, automatically, I don't. Um, you got to know you can trust them. Bottom line. Uh, but good news, it's a, a strong connection. With somebody new or new-ish, <laughs> right? So let's make a date and um, see what happens here, Leo. 
Sagittarius. Look at this. Okay, so this is this is a higher love. This is um, new energy. You're feeling it. I feel like you're recognizing what this person is. I feel like it's an extraordinarily strong connection with these cards. Look at that. Be dealing with the Taurus. You could be dealing with the Leo. Got a little water here. This is a very strong connection that you have with this person, with this one particular energy. The potential for commitment is there. The potential for higher love is there. The potential for new beginnings and happiness is there. Is it a horrible ex? No. I feel like this is somebody you made a connection with and it simply couldn't get off the ground. But man, did the connection kind of knock you off your feet? It knocked this person, it knocked them off their feet. You're realizing what this is. You're waking up to this higher purpose, this higher love. Here's the issue. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. There is an energy that is holding you back. It's, and it, this is in regards to past, um, a past situation. Like, you can't seem to quite let that go in order to enjoy all of this beautiful energy, right? You're very tempted by all this. As well, you should be. It's beautiful energy. But you can't seem to let this past energy go. Um, and you're wondering still if the past, you in the past, can work things out, can smooth things over. In the meantime, dealing with toxic past, you I just don't want you to miss this right here. I don't want you to miss this right here. Okay. So being stuck in the past, don't let this type of energy pass you by, Sagittarius, because this is beautiful. Right? It's almost... Um, it's, it's higher love. It's, it's, this is about your happiness. What do you want? Um, but mm, interesting. That's all I'm going to say about that. Don't let something wonderful pass you by being focused on a bunch of past bullshit. Just saying. All right. So that is your messages for today. I'm going to go through the video, make sure I kept the sign straight. God, I hope I did. <laughs> I hope I did. Lord, you guys have a beautiful day. I'm doing all right. Still, you know, just recovering, but I feel pretty good. I do. Um, and I'm just going to keep working on the how do they feel about you videos. All right. Thank you uh, all for being here and, and showing up. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Talk to you all soon. Take care and God bless.